Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Doron Kornbluth from Mosaica, and uh, my guest is somebody you probably recognize, and if not, uh, maybe you should. This is Reb Roy Neuberger. Um, we know each other because of this, uh, your new book, Hold On, Surviving the Days Before Mashiach, Roy S. Neuberger, which is uh, unbelievably well-timed. God runs the world. Uh, maybe you want to just tell people about that? Well, you know, um, um, uh, this book was finished one year ago, so that means in around um, May uh, of 2019. And I was very anxious to get this book, uh, you know, out. So I said to my holy publishers, Mosaica Press, oh, I need it out by uh, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and and Mosaic Press told me, no, we're very careful. Everything has to be right and perfect. And 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 so I said, okay, okay. And and so, I, I mean, this is not solicited, but Mosaic Press did a great Rabbi Haber, Rabbi Kornbluth did a, a holy staff. I, I don't want to flatter you, but I have to flatter you. We only have a few minutes, and this is about you, so you don't have to talk about us. Okay, okay me, me. But I'm telling the truth. This is me that I appreciate you, and 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 the, the and the book came out extremely beautiful. Uh, uh, the cover is striking, and, it's, um, and thank God it is selling incredibly well. We have reprinted so it already, uh, and there's a lot of just because you're talking about Yomot Mashiach and Corona hits and changes the whole world. Cut as far as this perfect storm. Now let me ask a question, which I think I know the answer to, but I want you you to speak. Uh, okay, uh, to everybody who's, who's, who's looking, okay, I want you to count. Okay, these are the Haskamas. Okay, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I, I count, I'm counting 15 or 16. I don't know, I might have lost one there. Um, rabbinic right. approbations. Uh, I have never put out a book, and we've never put out a book, and I've never seen a book with so many. But it wasn't just, can you tell why you thought that was important? It's, I'm really happy you asked me that question, um, Reb Daron. Look, if you had my background, I, I, if you know my story, which I tell in my first book from Central Park to Sinai, um, I, 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 I'm, I hope I'm about you, but uh, I, 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 I grew up totally uh, uh, non-observant with no connection to Jewish life at all. I mean, I did not know what Rosh Hashanah was, what Yom Kippur was, what Pesach was. Um, um, I, I, and I had a bris at the age of 31. This was after a whole, you know, youth of searching. Um, and then we met Rebetzin Esther Young Rice. Um, when we were 30, my wife and I were 30 and 31 years old. We'd already been married 11 years at that time. But I have, I mean, the, the Young Rice family was very kind to us and took us in um, to the family. But I feel but as if I have... You were married into the Young Rice family, didn't you? Isn't one of your... We, yes, we did. Our daughter is married to Rebetzin Young Rice's, Rabbi Rebetzin Young Rice's uh, second son, Rabbi Ashi, that is true. Our daughter Yaffa, our second daughter, and and um, but I feel as if I have a Jewish vacuum inside me. I'm seriously, I mean, I never had a day in yeshiva in my life as you know, as a young man. I'm trying to make up for it now. I'm trying to, you know, I'm wonderful chavrusas. I'm trying to fill the gap, but you really, it's so difficult to fill the gap of all those years of your youth when, you know, other people are in yeshiva. So I feel as if I need haskabas. I need, I, I need, I, I, I need approbation. I need... Well, you, you've uh, certainly got them. I mean, this is, a, it's an amazing book and you have the entire rabbinic world uh, behind you showing how yeah. important this is for Klal Yisrael. You see, I, I hear what you're saying. It's, it's, there, there aren't that many Balei Tshuva that get yeshiva guys learning from them and reading, you know, their Torah, and you've uh, accomplished that. Um, and I tried oh, to see on the screen here from your website. I don't know if you see it. Uh, it's a, screen I see it. It's a new thing for me. I'm, I, I'm not that technically minded. 
but I, I, wanted, people to, <laughs> I wanted people to see uh, what kind of an impact you've had from Central Park to Sinai certainly was one of uh, the formative books of the, uh, of the cure movement in the 1990s uh, and, and 2000s, really. Um, and, uh, and to see now, you know, teaching Torah at such a high level uh, in terms of, you know, the Mashiach. We only have a minute left. Uh, maybe, God willing, we'll be able to speak again in a, in a month or two. I don't know. Um, but if you had a message to tell the Jewish people um, that we are, we are now in this worldwide corona crisis uh, and um, we never know what Hashem has in store. And uh, it's a little bit dangerous to say, oh, Mashiach is coming tomorrow and to calculate dates and the are running. But on the other hand, every authority says we're in Ichad the Mashiach, that, that we're, we're getting towards the end. There's no, there's no question that we are there. If you had one message that what we as Jews should be doing to get ourselves ready and get the world ready, out of all your research and all the teachings, what would you say it is? You know, there's a reason we mention Mitzrayim constantly in all our davening, and, and, and the Torah keeps reminding us, Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. The whole, the whole yomt of schedule begins with Pesach, which is a commemoration of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. In Mitzrayim, um, Rashi says only one-fifth of the Jews left with Moshe Rabbeinu. Other commentators say as few as one in 5,000. That means that um, whatever way you look at it, the majority of Jews in Mitzrayim never left with Moshe Rabbeinu. And, and, and that means they, 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 what can I say? I don't want to be too explicit, but the MS is that they went down with the destruction of Egypt. They disappeared. And, and Asi Avo Simulabanan, you know, where the Torah is here to tell us about today. God forbid this should happen today, that, 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 that we should um, associate ourselves with a non Jewish world that is crumbling before our eyes, and that we should not be there for, for Mashiach. When Mashiach comes, Be'ezus Hashem soon. It's going to be a different world, the world of Kedusha. The world is not going to be run by the by by Edom and Yishmol, by the by the by excuse me, the Muslim world and the and the Western world anymore. It's going to be ruled from from Yerushalayim. Keith Mitzion Tetzay Torah Dvar Hashem Yerushalayim, and 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 it's going to be a different kind of a world, the world of Torah, world of Kedusha. That's why the book is called Hold On. If we Hold on to Torah and take it super seriously, as a, because it's a it is a matter of life and death. Then we should all hope to be there for Mashiach, Bezos Hashem, Mashiach Ben David, Beis Hamikdash, very soon in our own days. Thank you very much for giving us this uh, short amount of your valuable time, Reb. I look forward to speaking again. Thank you so much, Reb. The book is Hold On and. Uh, if you can find a copy, there still are some copies available, and it's in reprint, so there'll be more copies soon. Wonderful. Thank you so much, all.